So last I checked, we're a tech channel. But for some reason, there's been a long time ongoing argument in our comment section about whether it's football or soccer. Well, whichever side of the argument you're on, and our writer John would like to gently remind everyone that both are perfectly legitimate names for the sport, something that should interest all fans of association football, also correct by the way, is the recent surge in popularity of goal line technology. So, for those less familiar with the sport, you're probably wondering, how hard is it to tell when the ball goes into the goal? We need tech for this? Actually, it's a pretty frequent occurrence where the ball seems to just barely cross the goal line if, for example, the goalkeeper tries to save it while he is basically on the line, or if it hits off the crossbar and bounces downward, as in the 1966 World Cup Final. And since the ball has to be completely across the line to count, this decision can often come down to literal millimeters, meaning that referees won't always be able to get it right on their own. Goal line technology seeks to remove this uncertainty with systems that are more sophisticated than mere instant replay. In fact, the systems currently used for major European and international matches use not just one, but 14 different cameras with seven pointed at each goal. And the way it works is really cool. Every camera is connected to a computer which can compare both the ball and the pitch, that's the field, to a 3D model, allowing the system to triangulate the position of the ball at any given moment. And even if multiple cameras have their view of the ball blocked by something like a big group of players scrambling in front of the goal, the system can still work since only three of the seven cameras are needed at a time to determine where the ball is in 3D space. If the system recognizes that the ball has completely crossed the goal line, it will send a signal to a special wristwatch worn by the referee to indicate that a goal should be given. Because this system relies entirely on computer analysis, it allows the referee to rule goal or no goal almost immediately, instead of performing the lengthy video reviews similar to what you'd see in sports like American football and ice hockey. And because these cameras are extremely sophisticated, I mean, we're talking as high as 500 frames per second, goal line technology can be accurate to under four millimeters. To demonstrate, check out how close this call was during a 2016 match between Bournemouth and Liverpool. And even though the powers that be were hesitant to introduce it, after a number of high profile referee blunders, this kind of camera based goal line technology is now being used in these major leagues. Non-domestic competitions like the UEFA Champions League and Copa America have also embraced the technology and it was also used at the World Cup for the first time in 2014 and will be again at next year's World Cup in Russia. But there's also a competing method that doesn't rely on cameras involving magnetic sensors that are embedded into the goal frame or even underneath the grass and a circuit that gets inserted into the ball itself. This system can determine when the ball enters the goal by measuring changes in the magnetic field. It's less expensive than the high-speed camera scheme used by the big money competitions, so you may see it become more common at lower levels of the game over time. But there are likely to be concerns among players at the highest tier about any modification to the standard ball. And although purists of the sport have opposed the integration of technology in general, Baseball is a prime example of this, claiming that human error is part of the game. The current trend does seem to be toward ensuring that goal calls on the pitch are correct, especially with influential mega clubs like Barcelona calling for the technology to be introduced in Spain. 
So are you a soccer slash football fan with an opinion one way or the other on goal line technology? Or heck, maybe you have a comment about another sport's use of similar technology. Let us know how you feel in the comments and also tell us if you'd like to see more tech in sports videos in the future. I mean, maybe we could even come up with a techie solution to help the Canadian national team improve its game. Or I guess the other option is uh, we could just stick to hockey. TunnelBear VPN lets you tunnel to one of 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services like video streaming services as though you are in a different country. It is a great way to get access to content that's behind pesky geo restrictions. They have easy to use apps for iOS, iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. They also have a Chrome extension. And it is so simple to use that there is just no excuse for not encrypting your connection and hiding from advertisers and your ISP or anyone who wants to spy on what you're doing online, your activities. You just press pretty much one button and boom. You are anonymized and you can choose whichever country you want to appear as though you are browsing from. So try out TunnelBear VPN with 500 megs of free data at the link below. And if you choose to get a year of unlimited data, which you probably should, you can save 10% at tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, comment with a video suggestion, and don't forget to subscribe. It's worth it. I mean, it's free.